A self-proclaimed dirty trickster, Roger Stone clutched a Bible and didn't say a word as he left court in Washington today. Stone is a longtime ally of Donald Trump. He was convicted on seven counts, including lying to Congress, witness tampering, and obstruction of justice, all for misleading Congress about his connection to WikiLeaks. WikiLeaks! I love WikiLeaks! Witnesses say during the 2016 election, Stone was the Trump campaign's access point to WikiLeaks. They said Stone and the president often discussed the leaked emails, something Trump denied to the special counsel. Uh, good morning, everyone. And Prosecutors say Stone lied to protect Trump. The defense argued that Stone exaggerated his access to WikiLeaks. The defense essentially was, it doesn't matter what he said. Well, it did matter, and the jury said it mattered. Stone's conviction marks the end of the criminal cases filed by Robert Mueller's team. He now joins a long list of Trump aides who faced legal consequences, including a foreign policy advisor, the former campaign chairman, another campaign member, the former national security advisor, and Trump's personal attorney. In Stone's case, it marks what could be a closing chapter for a provocateur who has operated in legal gray areas since Nixon. It is astounding to see somebody who has kind of skated reality his whole life, kind of done evil as a performance art, suddenly, suddenly get caught up in like, oh no, there are actually consequences. Stone faces up to 20 years in prison for witness tampering alone. But he's a first-time offender, so he'll likely get less when sentenced in February. Stephen D'Souza, CBC News, New York.